I mean, is there anything specific about Agent Orange that, you know, in the conversations that you've had with patients or people that are part of your research uh, study, I mean, are, is there something that they've asked that's always been on the tip of their tongue or at the forefront of their mind that I haven't asked you today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think that some of it is, you know, what about the offspring? And there have been a number of studies, right? So one of the studies shows that there are spinal cord deficits, spina bifida um, is higher and that offspring of Vietnam veterans who have this, it's a neural tube defect where it doesn't, the you know spinal cord doesn't fully fuse, mm -hmm. um, that offspring have been treated for this particular disability. Um, if you have, if you are the offspring of a Vietnam veteran. And so I would think even like as people are getting into like the next generation, you know, really to continue to follow up because sometimes there are consequences that go from generation to generation. So it's just something to be sort of, you know, to keep thinking about. Um, and I think the other thing is just that um, you know, the toxicant exposures that people were, you know, had during the time of the Vietnam War, that again, thinking that even if you're not in one of those, or you were not in one of those, you know, heavily stormed areas, it's still a possibility. So I know for me, I always tell my veterans, that it's worth the opportunity, it's worthwhile to go and at least get your name into the system because that's what's so important. So for me as a researcher, I see individuals all the time who don't use the VA system. They come from outside just to be part of the research study, which is wonderful. But I really encourage people to, you know, have themselves have their offspring have, you know, other um, soldiers that they know, to just get into the system, just be part of that system. Because, you know, ultimately, what we want to provide is cures. And what's really interesting is that, you know, a lot of people say to me, like, why aren't the people in, you know, future conflicts, you know, post Vietnam, why aren't they experiencing the same things that we experienced in Vietnam or after Vietnam? And it's because of what we've learned over the years. But just knowing the amount of knowledge that comes from each particular conflict is so important so that it really is important to be involved in these, you know, in these registries, in these research projects just so we can, you know, make sure that these things don't repeat themselves. Right. Yeah, that's very well said. Mm -hmm. um, so Maxine, I mean, I really appreciate you coming out here mm -hmm. and doing this. Uh, it's a really important topic that a lot of people have so many questions about and so many concerns. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But to everybody that's out there, as Maxine had said, uh, we will have tons of links and other stuff for you to check out in the video description below. Uh, and I know that we did not answer all the questions that you may have about Agent Orange. So if you have anything that you'd like for us to cover in the future, because I'd love to have you back again. Sure, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything that you'd like for us to cover in the future, you can email us at the sitrep at va.gov. The free VA New England mobile app is empowering those who served our country like never before. Access up-to-date information on benefits, health care, home loans, and more. Search VA New England in your app store today and access the benefits you've earned and deserve.